Good morning. In last lecture, we talked about single row functions. We come to the conclusion that it accepts the argument and returns the one value. We talked that it returns the one result per row. It acts on each row that is written. It also used to modify the data type. It can be in a straight. It accepts the argument that can be column or an expression. And one of the wonderful thing about the single row function is we can use the single row function in insert, update, delete, create, and select. Whenever you are using in select, it is just used to display the content. It will not update the actual content. And we discuss about the different categories of the function, and that is a case manipulation function. And the case manipulation function was upper, lower, and init cap. Then we talked about character function, that is concate, substring and length. Today we will discuss about instr function. What is instr? It is a in string function. For example, if I am writing here, that is in string. If I say that I want to search for A. So in Atmir, A is available at which position? So it will say that A is available at the first position. Now if I say that start searching from second letter. Right. So, if you search from this second letter that is T, then A is available at which position? Then A is available at the sixth position. Now, suppose if you think that, sir, I had written the string over here that is Atmiyata. Now, I want a second A from the second letter. So, I don't want to consider this first letter. Right. That is A. I want the second A from this position. So from this position, the second A is this, right? Then you can use the fourth argument and you can write here this two. It means from this two is from which position? That is this position. And this two is the occurrence of the character. So A is, that is the second occurrence of A. And it is, that is age. Here, you can also write like this. I want the third occurrence of A and start searching from first letter. So what it will do? It will start the searching from the first letter that is this A and you will get the third occurrence and third occurrence of A is available at the position 8. But what if the occurrence is not available? For example, if I say that I want the fourth occurrence of A. So, there are only three A available over here. One, two, and three. Fourth A is not available, right? So, it will give me zero. So, it will return zero in the case if that particular character is not found in the string. Now, I want to just get that name. Then, I want to get the A. That is, the position of A starting from 1 and I want the second occurrence of A in the name. So here you can write from employees. Now here you can say that the A that is not first A but the second A is available in Parag at the fourth position. Second A is not available in the Kapil. Second A is not available in the Ankit. But the second A is available in the Tatsat at the position number 5. Second A is available in the Raja at the position number 4. Second A is available in the Naman at the position number 4. Now I want to write the query that, for example, this is the detail of all the employees. I want to retrieve all employees whose name contains at least 2A. It means the name must have at least minimum 2A is required. So, how we can write the query? Very simple. You can write here where instead of employee name. Now, I want to search for A. So, I am writing here A. Start searching from first letter and the second occurrence. So, what it will do? It will give me the occurrence position of the A. If it is available, then it will give me the position. So, if I am writing here not equal to 0, it means it will give me the position. So here you can say that Parag having the second occurrence, Tatsat having the second occurrence of A, Raja having the second occurrence of A, 
if you look carefully over here then what happened it is just displaying the data of the people who has occurred the position if the a is not available then the value will be zero but if a is available there are two a is available then value not be zero so not equal to zero means the value which is not equal to zero if you look carefully in the previous query then what i did the value is zero if a is not available value is zero if at least 2a is not available but if 2a is available then value is not zero so what i did i written the same value in the condition and then i just given the condition that not equal to zero so the value which is not zero will be displayed and that is the reason why it displays the parag tatsat raja and naman now suppose if anybody from you ask me that sir i want to list the person who has at least three occurrence of t then you can write here the letter t start searching from one and third occurrence of t not equal to zero then the only one person who has the three times t in his name and the person is tatsat right t a t s a t so very simple concept is here you can just change the syntax of instr by default what happen if you pass a string and if you pass the search string then by default start searching from the first letter and it gives the first occurrence so this is the default behavior but if you don't want to start searching from the first position then you can mention the position over here and here you can mention the occurrence of the string so which occurrence you want that you can pass over here in instr now suppose if you think that sir this is all about the instr now any more character functions are there yes the function is l paid what is l paid suppose if you want that the left side padding of the data and you want a right justified data then you can use the l paid function here you can write the column or expression so here you can mention the column name comma then you can give the total size and you can just pass the padding character so here we can pass the character that you want to pad let me give you the wonderful example of l pad just see over here i'm writing here that is select employee number name and salary from employees now if you look carefully this is the salary but i want that the salary should be at least 10 digit i want that the salary should be at least 10 digit if the salary is not 10 digit then i want a left padding it means i want the rectangle of the data i want the equal size of the data right so length should be equal i want to left pad the data so you can write over here what you can write here that like this l paid of salary comma total size you can mention over here that for example 10 and then you can write the star so what happens see look carefully what happened the size is 10 digit size is 10 digit size will be 10 digit if the salary is 4 digit then the star will be 6 if salary is 3 digit then the star will be 7 it means you can justify your data lpid will do what it will give you a right justified data your data will be justified right and the left space left data will be paired with the character that you have supplied in the lpid function sometimes people want that sir i don't want the right justified data i want the left justified data suppose if you want the left justified data then you can write r paid so what happened it will do right side padding so it will add the data right side see here but the length will be again 10 digit why because i specified the 10 digit so 10 digit length will be there but data will be that is left justified if you look carefully then the data is left justified and right side portion is padded with the star here you can use the any character you can write dash then the right position will be filled with the dash 
and here you can pass a space also if it is required here you can pass any character for example i am passing here zero and it is not the good option why because whenever you add the zero after any number the value will be multiplied with the 10 so the good suggestion is here you can pass any character like dash or star so you can just get the value that is left justified and right justified the wonderful thing is what i suggest to every student that whenever you want a number justified then use the l paid and whenever you justify the name then use the r paid in short name should be name should be left justified and number should be that is right justified so whenever you want a number right justified use the function l paid and whenever you want name left justified, use the function rpid. Why? Because we want the left justified string and the padding at the right side. See here, the string is left justified, but the padding at the right side. Here, the number is at the right side, but padding at the left side. And the padding at the left side is available using lpid function. Padding at the right side will be available using the rpid function. Now, after discussion of LPAID and RPAID, we discussed that LPAID will do what? It will do add the left side padding and RPAID do, do what? It will add the right side padding. Now I want to talk about the replace function. Replace will do what? It will accept the string. Then you can search for the string and you can replace the string, right? So it is a wonderful thing. For example, let me give you the example. I want to do what? Select that is replace. Now I'm writing here that is Atmium. Replace A with P from dual. So what happens? See, A will be replaced with the P. So this is what the replace function is. Sometimes people say that, sir, can I write here para? It means can I write the string? Yes, you can. See, what happens whenever you will find the A will be replaced with the para. Again, you will find the A will be replaced with the para. So, you can search for the multiple character also. Let me give you an example. You can write here that is replace. Now, I am writing Jack and Joe. Now, I am replacing J with the that is BL from dual. So what happened? Whenever you find J, it will replace with the BL. So it will be black and blue. So whenever you run this, you will get black and blue. So re using replace function, we can search for the string and we can pass the replacing string. It will be updated in the output. But remember, if you are using select close, then it will not make the changes into your actual content. Select close is just used to display the data, right? So this is what the replace function is. Now, I want to explain another function and that function is trim. So what is trim? Trim is used to cut the unwanted characters and the default character of the trim is space. Let me give you wonderful example for example see here i have the data that is select star from employees now i want to search for the record for example if i am searching like this where employee name is equal to tarsad now tarsad record is available but i am not able to search why what is the reason because in tarsad unnecessary space is given over here how can i know that the unnecessary space is given right so whenever you want to search for that particular thing then you, what you can do you can just pass here extra character and then you can search that the tasat record is available right now i know that the one space is available over here in tasat name but sometimes what happened the people has given the extra spaces in their name whenever you ask to enter their name they are giving the extra spaces 
so that particular record will not be searched so i want to search that record without giving the space is it possible yes it is possible what we can write we can use the function over here that is trim of employee name is equal to tatsat so whenever you write trim of employee name is equal to tatsat so trim will do what it will remove the leading and trailing space so if you have a leading spaces if you have trailing spaces then it will be removed and you will get the data so trim is used to remove the unwanted space that is the leading and trailing for example sometimes what happen you are uh, asking user to enter their name and they are giving the name in the insert statement like this for example let me try to insert the record into employees insert into employees i want to insert the employee number and name i'm just inserting the value that is m person employee number and now i'm asking user to enter the name so this is employee name now what happen user has passed the number it is correct but user has given the unnecessary space over here and now user is giving the name and the name of the person is that is ankit right and now again he is giving the extra spaces record will be inserted right now whenever you search for this particular record for example if you write here that is select start from employees where name is equal to ankit you will not be able to search for this record this record is available that is the 7521 that was the earliest record this record will not be searched that is 4344 right here the number is 7521 so i want to search this number that is 4344 So how we can do this? Here you can use the function that is trim. And trim will do what? It will remove the unnecessary space, and you will get the ankit over here. But one problem is available over here, and that is what? The person has given the extra spaces, so extra spaces is stored into the table. I don't want to store the extra spaces. Is it possible to do this? Yes, it is possible. let me roll back the thing so you people can get the proper idea whenever you roll back it will be undo the transaction and the inserted record will be removed now i am trying to insert once again but now i am just using the function so whatever user enter that will be trim whatever user enter that will be trim so i'm using the trim function in the insert statement and what happens see if user is passing the number that is the same number 4344 and the same name with the same space that is ankit right record will be inserted but what is the wonderful thing the wonderful thing about this is whenever you write the select star from employees the last record ankit will be stored as it is and the wonderful thing is what whenever you search for the record which that is name is equal to ankit the extra space will be removed from the trailing space as well as from the leading space so this is the wonderful thing of trim function not only space some people says that sir can can i uh, use the only space in trim no by default character is space let me give you the example suppose if you write here trim space from that is i am writing here that is extra spaces i am giving over here and then i am writing ankit again i am giving the extra spaces from dual then what i can see it is removing the leading space and it is removing the trailing space so default character is a space so whenever you are write like this no need to write a from you can write directly you will get the same result but sometimes people think that sir i don't want a space but i want that the that is i don't want a a that is the leading and trailing a from the string atmia right so what happen your a will be removed and you will get the tmi why so trim will do what it will remove the unwanted characters from the leading and trailing but remember students 
Remember carefully. For example, if I am writing the trim T from Tatsat. So leading and trailing T will be removed. But in between T will not be removed. This is the wonderful thing. Why? Because suppose sometimes what happens? People are writing like this. That is trim. Now I am giving extra spaces. Now I am writing Parag space Sukla. Now I am giving again extra spaces. So I don't want this spaces. I don't want this spaces. But I want this space. Right. So in between space will not be removed. It will just remove the leading space and trailing space. So this is what the trim function is. So this is all about you can say that character functions we talked about the case manipulation function we talked about the character function now i am moving towards the number function so which are the number functions number functions are three the first one is round another one is truncate and the third one is the modulo so here in round you can pass any number here in truncate also you can pass any number modular you can pass the number and you can pass the divisor so it will give you the value so you can just find the reminder using the modulo function so here you can pass the divisor and you will get the modulo of that particular number so what is round truncate and modulo let me give you the example round truncate is very simple for example if you write here round of that is, I am writing here the value that is 45.93 from dual. Then you will get the 46. Yes, it is correct. Suppose if I am writing here, that is round of 99.99, then I will get the 100. But if I use the truncate, then truncate will not do the rounding. It will give me the 99. Right? So, round will do what? If you pass any value that is more than 50%, for example, if I am writing here that is 99.45, then I will get the 99. If I am passing here 99.49, then also I will get the 99. But if I am passing 99.50, then I will get the 100. That is what the behavior of round. But what is the behavior of truncate? Truncate is very simple. If you pass even if you pass 99.99, then also it will simply discard the rest decimal point and it will give you the exactly the input that you have written. And that is what the truncate is. By default, whenever you pass any number, so by default in a round, if you not pass any number after comma, then by default, the decimal point is 0. So, default point are 0. But, if you think that, sir, I want to round up to, that is a 1 decimal point. Then, what is the solution? Then, you can write comma 1. So, whenever you write comma 1, what happened? It will round up to 1 place, that is 4. And, it will check the next digit. If, is it the greater than 5? Yes. Greater than or equal to 5? Yes. Then it will increment the value of 4 by 1 and you will get the 99.5. But if it is, the number is 44, then you will get the 99.4. That is the behavior of round. Suppose if you are passing here the number, that is for example 4.3254. And if I say that I want to round up to 2 decimal point, then it will give me 4.33. Right. Why? Because the number is, uh, the third decimal number is greater than 5. So, the second number will be incremented by 1 and I will get the 4.33. But if I am writing here, that is 2, but it is not 50, it is 40, then I will get the 4.32. The same number, if you are using with the round, the same number you have used with the round that you can use with the truncate. For example, if I am writing that is, if I am writing that is truncate of 4.3254. So, my round was giving me 4.33, but the truncate will give me only 4.32. It will simply discard the rest elements and it will give you the 
output even if it is 32 99 it will give me only 4.32 right so truncate it will simply discard the rest is it it will not round the value and truncate will not round the value round will just round the number if the number is greater than or equal to 5 but wonderful thing about the round and truncate is what let's see this is the wonderful example see carefully if you are writing here that is a 55.93 the number is 56.93 and i'm writing here minus 1 from dual. Whenever you write minus 1, then what it will do? It will round the number before the decimal point. That it will round this number. One thing. And the second thing is, whenever you write the negative number, it will round up to tens. So what happened? 50, 60, 70, 80. So multiple of 10, it will give you the output. So if number is greater than the 5, here in case, you can say that the number is 56. So nearest to 10 is a 60. So it will give me output that is 60. But if the number is that is a 54, then the nearest to 10 is 50. You will get the output that is 50. Whenever you write the minus 1, it will round up to 10 only. It means it will give you output that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It will give the output in the 10 only. But the wonderful thing is what? If you write here minus 2, now it will round up to hundreds. So if the value is greater than 50, if the value is greater than 50, then it will give you 100. Right? And if the value is less than 50, for example 49, then it will give you 0. Why 0? Because the value is less than 50. So here you can just use the minus 2 for the multiple of hundreds. Sometimes people say that, sir, I want a multiple of hundreds and if I am writing 499, if you write 499, you will get 500. If you write here 449, then you will get the 400. Right? So it will give you the output in multiple of hundreds. Why? Because you are using the minus 2. But if you are writing minus 1, then it will give you multiple of 10. The value will be 450. And if it is 443, then the value will be 440. It means it will be the value will be the round of multiple of 10. But the same thing that you did with the round, suppose if you did do the same thing with the truncate, for example, truncate, I'm writing here that is 459. And I am writing here the same value that is 459.93 minus 2. Now whenever you write 459 minus 2, it will give you multiple of 100. So is it the value is greater than the 50? Yes, it is greater than the 450. So you will get the 500 over here. But it will simply discard and it will give you 400 over here. So here you will get the 500 and here you will get the 400. And wonderful thing is what even if it is 499.99, truncate will simply discard the value and it will truncate up to the previous previous hundreds number and the previous hundred number is 400. So it will give you 400 and it, this will give you the next nearest hundred number. Why? Because you are using the minus 2. So this is what the round and truncate is. Now suppose if anybody from you ask me that, sir, I want to use the modulo. Can I use the modulo operator? That is a that is percentage symbol in other language. For example, if you prefer the C language, then the modulo operator is there like this. So can we use the modulo operator over here? No. Here you can use the modulo function. For example, this is the value. Select star from employees. Now I want only employee number whose employee number is odd number, right? So I want all this, but I don't want the 6, 4, 8, 2. So I don't want the even number employee number. I want only odd number employee number. So how we can do this? Very simple. You can write the condition, select star from employees, 
where modulo of employee number by 2 not equal to 0. So it will give you only odd numbers. I don't want the even numbers. It is equivalent to, in other language, you can say employee number modulo 2 not equal to 0. So if you are using the C language, then in C language you can write like this, employee number modulo 2 not equal to 0. So the same thing is available over here. The modulo of employee number by 2 not equal to 0. Sometimes people say that, sir, I want to display only those salary who are getting the salary in the multiple of thousands. It means 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 4,000. I want only those employees. So can we use the function? Here you can use the modulo function. Here you can change the column. That is salary modulo by 1,000 equal to 0. You will get the salary. Who are getting the salary in the multiple of thousands? That is 3,000, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000 like this. Some people say that I want the salary which is the multiple of hundreds. You can write multiple of hundreds. See 800, 1600, 300, 1500, 1500, 1100, 1300, 1300, 1300. So it will give me the salary which are the multiple of hundreds. Here the salary which are multiple of thousands. So here you can use the modulo function. So these are the three number functions available in Oracle. Now I want to work with the date and I want to know how, what are the date function and how we can deal with the date. So the basic function to retrieve the current date and that function is a sys date. Sys date having no argument. So you can simply write select sys date from dual. It will give you the system date. Some people say that, sir, can I write the sys date from employees? Yes, but it will give you the number of times the record available in employees, the number of time it will display the system date. So the same system date will be displayed 15 times. Why? Because 15 record is available in employees. So you can get the system date. That is the 20 January 21. Now, you can do the arithmetic with the date. We can do the arithmetic with the date. What is arithmetic with the date? Simple. We can add the date plus number and we will get the date. For example, let me write here sys date plus 5. So it will simply add the 5 days to current date. So it will give me 25th January. Right? Here you can write sys date plus 15. You will get the 4th February. So automatically the number of days available, right? Suppose if you are writing here, that is a sys date plus 11, then it is 31st January. Then it is 31st January. But if you say that sys date plus 12, then it will be 1 February, right? So the wonderful thing is what? You can do the arithmetic with the number. Whenever you add the date plus number, you will get the date. Simply it will add the number with that particular date. and You will get the new date with that particular date value. One of the biggest thing, another one is what? Even you can do the date minus number. For example, if I say that select sys date from dual, then the today's date is 20th January 2020. Now I can write here sys date minus 12. So I will get 8th January. Right? I can write here select sys date minus 20. Then it will be 31st December 2020. Right? So you can do the arithmetic with the date also. That is you can add the number. You can deduct the number. Even you can write the date minus date. But whenever you write the date minus date, you will get the number. Whenever you write date minus date, you will get the number. What it will return? It will return the number of days that is between the two days. So it will give me the difference between the two days. For example, let me write here. That is select employee name, birth date, hire date from employees. Now I have the birth date of the person, hire date of the person. Now I want to check this person that is Parag 
live how many days right so i want to calculate the age is it possible yes it is possible here you can write birth date comma cis date minus birth date so system date is two days that is 20th january 2021 you will get the number and the number is 13105 days i live right now suppose if you think that sir i want to round this then you can write the round also so you can write round of cis date minus birth date so you will get the number of days the parag live and that is 13105 days this is the days right now suppose if you think that sir i want to find it out the year you can write days divided by 365.25. So whenever you write 365.25, then what happened? Then it will include the leap year also because the at exactly after the four year, the value will be 366. So you can write here 365.25. Then it will give you the age of the para that is 35 years, 0.87. And suppose if you think that now I want to round this, it means I want to divide this, that is, but cis date minus birth date divided by 365, and then I want to, that is, divided by 365 by 25, and now I want to round all these things, right? So now it will give the round of my age and that will be 36 but some people says that sir until and unless i reach to the last date my age will be 35 not the 36 so instead of round you can use the function that is truncate so rest value will be discarded and you will get the 35 right so what i did date minus date and whenever you write date minus date you will get the number you can also do the date plus number and you will get the date. Wonderful thing is what? You can write date plus number, then it will add the whole day. For example, select cis date plus one, then today's date is 20 January. So it will give me 21 January, right? But it means whenever you write date plus number, it will add the 24 hours. So, if I write here, that is 24 by 24. So, 24 divided by 24, it will be 1. So, one day will be added to system date. Right? And as a result, I will get the 21 January. Now, anyone from you ask me that, Sir, I want to add the 5 hours. Then you can write 5 by 24. Why 5 by 24? Because, whenever you write 24 by 24, the value will be 1. So, one, one day will be added. Whenever you write 5 by 24, it means the 5 hours will be added to this date. But how would I know that the 5 hours is added? So whenever you want to know this, you can use the function. I will definitely cover this particular function. Whenever I will explain you the, that is, the function that is conversion function. But right now I am just interested in knowing the hour, minute and second. So I am writing here 2 care. It is giving me 418. Here you can write AM, PM also. If it, even if I am writing AM, it will give me PM. So I am adding the 5 hours from now. So the current time is what? Current time is what? Current time is and that is 1118 AM. And after adding the 5 hours, it is 418 PM. Right. Even if you can write here that is HH24, if you write HH24, then no need to mention the AM, PM, it will give you 16. It means current hour is 11.18, it is 16.18. So you can add the hours by adding the date plus number by 24, it will add the number of hours to the date. Right? So, you can add the number of hours to the date also using the, that is, date plus number by 24. Now, I want to know 
the functions of date. So which are the date function? The first function is months between. It means you can pass the two dates and it will give you the months between these two dates. So you can write simply select months between. Now I am writing here highest date should be written first that is system date and birth date from employees then it will give me that the Prague is live for 30 months right? exactly the months is that is for 30 so whenever you write two days two dates and you will get the months between the two different dates suppose if you think that sir i don't want to find it out the months between the dates then you can use the function that is add months so what months between will do it will find the number of months between the two dates what add months will do here you can pass a date and you can pass the number of month so how many months you want to add to a particular date for example i am writing here that is select cis date from the year. The today's date is 20 January. Now I am writing here add months and add 5 months to today's date and you will get the 20 June. Add 8 months to today's date and you will get the 20 September. So you can simply add the months in particular date by adding the number of months. So, some people say that, sir, what if I don't want to add the month? What if I want to subtract the month? You can just pass here minus 8 and you will get the 8 month back. That is 20 May 2020. And here today's date, 8 months will be added. So I am getting 20 September. 8 months will be back. So I am getting 20 May 20. 20. So you can use the add months function to add the months. Another function is there and that function is known as a next day. This is the wonderful function. Here you can mention the date and here you can mention day. So which day you want from this day. Right. Let me write here. For example, I am writing that is select next day. So I am writing here next day. And the date I am mentioning over here that is cis date. Now I want the next date. Which date is available in the next Saturday? So from today's date, from today's date, Saturday is available on which date? So Saturday is available on 23 January 2021. Right. So you can find the next day after that particular date. Here you can write, I want... Uh, next day after 1st August 2021, I want a first Sunday. Then it will give me 8th August 2021. So after 1 August 2021, the Sunday is available on 8th August. It means the Sunday is available on the 1st August. So you can write over here. 31st July 2021. I want the next Sunday. So next Sunday is available on 1 August 2021. And here you can give the title as Friendship Day. So Friendship Day is celebrated as the first Sunday of August. And the first Sunday of the August is available on 1st August 2021. So you can get the next day after mentioning the date. So after this date, the Sunday is coming on which date? The date will be resulted by this particular function. And that function is known as a next day. You can get the last day of the function, last day of the month by specifying the date. For example, you can write over here, select last day of system date from dual so the last date of the current month is 31st january here you can write last date of now i'm specifying that is 5th february 2021 
So last date is available on 28th February 2021. And if you mention here 5th February 2020, then the last date is 29th February. So you can get the last date of the specified date and it will take the la uh, current month of the specified date and based on the month, it will return the last date of that particular month and that you can get using the last day function. Here also you can use the round and truncate function. We can write over here that is select round of system date from dual. So what happens see today's date is 20th January. Right. So if you write here round of sys date, then it is giving me 20 January only. Why? Because the current time is 11.25. But after, after the one hour, so I'm writing here 1 by 24. So after one hour, the result will be 21 January. Why? Because after one hour, time will be that is more than 12 hours. So if it is more than 12 hour, then the date will be round to next day but you can use the truncate if you are writing truncate over here then it will give you today's date only right even if it is a uh, for example i am adding 11 hours then also the date will be 20 it is it will be 21 even only if if it reaches to that is next day so it will be 21 january by default in a round, by default in a round, it is round up to date. But here you can round up to month also. So whenever you write month, what happens? See, if your date is greater than 15, so the date is greater than 15, yes, today's date is 20. So if it is greater than 20, then it will give you next month first date. But if you are using a truncate function over here, and it will give the first date of the current month and that will be 1 January 2021. You can do the same thing for the year also. If you are writing year, then round will give you the first date of the current month. If the current, if the specified date month is less than June. See here, it is giving me 1 January 2021. But if my date having the for example, I am adding the uh, 200 dates. So whenever you add the 200 days, the date next day will be 1 January 2022. Why? Because I am rounding up to year. So if the value is greater than or equal to June, it will give me the next year first date. And whenever you are writing the sys date of year, if your system date is less than June, then it will give you first date. January of the current month and if you are using a truncate then it doesn't make any difference it will give you 1 January 2021 only until and unless the 2021 is not complete so you can use the these are the date function in SQL the rest functions we will discuss in the next lecture